With the first pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Michael DeLauro. Michelangelo. Michael DeLauro. DeLauro. Michael DeLauro. Michele DeLauro. <laughs> DeLauro. Professor Michael DeLauro. Michael DeLauro. Michael DeLauro. Larry Dickman. Larry Dickman. It don't matter who you draft. Yins are still the Browns. Manja, manja, giti fa bene, Michaelo Di Lauro. First thing I think of when I think of Michael DeLauro is tenacity. Laughter. Really fun, fun guy, warm-hearted. Creativity. A man of many talents. Uh, he's a leader, an educator, uh, a storyteller. Short Italian guy. I'm actually <laughs> taller than him, I think. <laughs> he's like Italian in a little capsule. Full of spit and vinegar. I was impressed with Michael when he first arrived that he sort of immediately started fighting his corner. You know, with funding, new equipment, pushing things, pushing HD cameras. I just thought it was pretty refreshing that someone had just decided to like, you know, I'm gonna go get my MFA and become a filmmaker and go into academia. He knows his stuff and he knows about everything from, you know, lighting to the cameras to the talent and so on. I mean, all the work we did together, he and I did together and that he's done otherwise, we we told stories of people. If the Allegheny Conference ceased to exist, we'd have to invent it all over again. The Allegheny Conference is a big story about a lot of money and a lot of building in Pittsburgh, but it comes down to the people who made that happen. What impresses me about Michael's documentary work is his passion for it. And putting all of his sort of heart and soul into his projects. Uh, La Mia Strada is a very personal piece. Um, that I thought was a unique conception that he had. You know, as an artist myself, I know how difficult it is to um, portray something that's part of you. I remember like the uh, the walk, uh, when they were walking like, I think it was like the goats or the sheep through the, the hills, just seeing, you know, the path that his ancestors walked. You know, to go back to his family roots and the research he'd done, even going through the trouble of hiring a helicopter to get aerial shots could have been a drone, Michael. You know, you could have saved a lot of money if they'd had them. Boot camp was an exercise program uh, in the mornings. We would go down on the field and go through terrible exercises. And it just got whittled down to the three of us. Myself, Mike, and Karen. And we wouldn't have an instructor, so he would come on with his persona of Larry Dickman. My name is Larry Dickman. Yes, Larry Dickman's from Clint Eastwood. I had the pleasure of going to Israel with Michael and a group of students from here. We were in the old city. We went to Masada. We were at the Dead Sea. We worked hard. I think we gave a nice little video for them. The Gambian Paradox, Mike called it. It's the only study abroad trip that's ever been done to West Africa by Robert Morris students. My wife said that trip would not have been anywhere near what it was without Michael. One of his proudest moments was bringing in the two students who, whose university was devastated, literally obliterated by an earthquake that they had over in Italy. The first one that believed in me and bring me for the beautiful Italy to beautiful Pittsburgh, Robert Murray University. His caring about people comes across the students. Always looking towards trying to help the students in their professional endeavors. What Michael does is introduce a student to all possibilities. He can be tough and he's really good at what he does. A role model in terms of this is going to be done professionally, it's going to be done correctly. But the mere fact that everybody's panicking about the class that he teaches and how can we cover it now, uh, I think tells you something. His experience in the business, he just brings it into the classroom. Students will really miss him when he goes. The fun part of working with Michael has always been when he would point out that the newsroom was not quite as tidy as it should look. If he gets an idea, he'll be like, ah, stop in the name of love. And we're like, stop in the name of love. Michael is a huge Gino Vanelli fan. Yeah, he sings as Gino Vanelli. He's like, that's Gino Vanelli. I'm like, who's Gino Vanelli? We, we do karaoke parties at my house. So. You need to see him do his Mick Jagger. It is impressive, it truly is. Once you have seen him as Richard Simmons, it was such a perfect outfit, blew everybody away when he showed up at our Halloween party that year. Oh my, 
That's one you can't unsee. The best thing about Michael is his wife and her ability to make me pies on, on <laughs> any given scenarios. I used to get pies when he first came here. Yeah, I think he got important friends and gives them the pie. What Michael will do in retirement, he will enjoy live. <laughs> Play golf. <laughs> I think he's going to drink a lot of wine. Spending time with his lovely wife, Jan, and spending time with family, because family is very, very important to him. He and Jan will do a lot of things. They have an adventurous spirit. So I'm certain that there'll be some travel. We should all do that, you know, retire in time to enjoy things. Michael told me once, he said his father told him, now I can do what I want to do instead of what I have to do. And he's always took the time to make sure that I was the best professional that I could be. The nurturing spirit that he's had for now a whole generation of aspiring media professionals. Well, now that you are in retirement, it's time to change my car. Can you buy a new one for me? So, Michael, I wish you and Jan all the best, and um, I hope you enjoy your well-earned retirement. I'll miss your zwa and I will miss your feng shui. Michael, you know we're going to miss you. You know I'm going to miss you. I just wish you the best. You're a great guy. There are a lot of people whose lives have been touched by what you've done in, in some very, very positive ways. And hopefully you'll continue to make great movies. And we still have to meet at Eggs and That for breakfast. In 12 years I've known him, I don't know what this is. So Michael, whatever this is, I'm doing it. I have no idea what this means. I just know there's a humongous wall of pictures in this house that has people's fingers in her ear. I love you, my friend. Grazie tante, Michael. We're going to miss you, brother. Michael, io spero che tu abbia una pensione meravigliosa. I want you to know that I wore this shirt, especially for you, because one day, several months ago, you told me how much you liked it. And uh, I'm here for you, man. It's all about you. Even though the university will miss you, I'm still counting on you as my ringer for golf outings. Don't drive Jan too crazy, because she's a sweet lady who, who's put up with you for all these years. Don't be a stranger. But we can't miss you till you're gone. And Michael, you do know that the Cleveland Browns are now actually the Baltimore Ravens. Today, a special recognition also to Professor Michael DeLauro. Michael, who is retiring this year, has been recommended by his colleagues for emeritus status because of his excellence as a faculty member. Michael DeLauro, thank you. In my heart, Michael is taller than the body. Amen. <laughs>